first thing you want to do is go ahead and create an account. So go over and sign up for a new account. Uh, where this account we'll be creating right now is basically uh, the, your administrator account. You can go ahead and create like your first user account now with this, but it's better if you just kind of create an administrator one so it can be slightly separate. It makes things a little easier down the road. So go ahead and type in your you know username and password. Now next it's going to ask you if you are a robot. <laughs> and the way it does this is it asks if you uh, for you to enter um, a cell phone number. So go ahead and enter that and then it's going to send you a message with a, the basically the credentials that you need to enter in here now to prove that you're not a robot. So once you get the message for that, go ahead and enter those credentials. It should take more than a minute or two for you to receive them. So go ahead and enter those credentials and then go ahead and hit next after that. Once you're done with that, pay attention to the page here, portal.office.com and that username. So this is what basically you're going to be using to sign in in a moment while it kind of like does its little thing in the background. It's going to be taking a little bit of time. Uh, it shouldn't take no more than a minute. But be sure to go to portal.office.com and use that username. In this case, it's going to be erwtc at erwtc.onmicrosoft.com. So that's going to be like our, our, our administrator account to be able to log into the back end of our Office 365 business premium trial. So give it a second. It's creating the profile. Once it's done, go ahead and click the start setup. And you'll be asked to either install your Office apps or set up mail. So this is basically the, the beginning process of getting started. We're going to go ahead and get, click on set up mail. Click where it says get started, the blue button. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to basically personalize your sign in and email. It's going to ask you the domain you choose will become part of your email address of you. That comes after the at symbol. You and your staff will use it to sign in and how customers will send you email. So it's going to ask to connect a domain you already own or continue using erwc.amacrosoft.com for email and signing in. So if you already currently own a domain, which we are assuming you are, if you do, go ahead and choose the first option and enter the domain that you own now. Go ahead and hit click next. Now it's gonna ask us to verify the domain. The instructions say to verify that you own this domain, add, add this DNS record to your domain. Don't worry, adding this record won't affect your existing email or other services that could be safely be removed at the end of the setup. So this, if you already own your domain and you currently already have email set up at your domain, Simply adding these records will not affect it in any way. Um, so go ahead and do that. It's basically two text values and the time to live. And as, this, as you can see here, it does find out where I currently have my DNS. It's currently hosted at Cloudflare. So I would just basically have to log into my Cloudflare backend and add these records to it. I will not show you how to do that here, but you can easily figure that out. Uh, and it has some instructions on how to basically uh, do that for yourself. Once you complete doing that, go ahead and hit the, click the verify button and it'll take a second to basically verify. So once the verification is done, it's going to ask us to add new users. So now we get the option to share the credentials that we recently created for our users. So we have the option to email it, download it, or print it. Uh, so if you're gonna send it to email, make sure it's an email that they have access to. Uh, the more secure ways is either to download or print it, but don't worry, if you do email it to them, it will ask them to change their password. So be sure to let your users know that once they sign in to change their password. So now the next option is to migrate your email messages. You do have the option to not uh, migrate your emails, but you, you can if you if you so wish. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what the what that involves having to migrate your emails. It says here the migration wizard walks you through the moving of all your organization's email messages. So there's some prep work involved. If you want to move over a fraction like the last six months, maybe important directly outlook would have worked a lot better. So you have different options in which you can import the email. And what we mean here is that we're importing the email literally directly into the Office 365, you know, in the cloud email access. So we'll be importing them there, but we're not going to go ahead and do that now. That's, we can save that for a different time. Okay. So the next step is going to ask us to connect your domain. In this step, you'll activate the services for your domain. 
So basically what we're going to be doing now is be, we're going to be creating some DNS records within our domain uh, provider in order to make sure that all the services for Office 365 uh, are working correctly and correctly routing through our DNS. So it says here, set up uh, my online services for me. So that's the recommended option or it asks you if you'll want to manage your own DNS records. In this step, we're going to go ahead and manage our own DNS records since we're confident enough that we can do it. So once we choose that option, we're, the next thing is to basically ask us which online services are we going to be able to use. So in this case, we're just going to choose the exchange for basically our email. And we're going to skip the Skype for Business and the mobile device management for Office 365. But if you're interested in those, you can go ahead and click on the little uh, light bulb icons and it'll tell you a little bit more about that. So here in this next step, basically we're going to be adding the DNS records for this domain. So here, as we can see here, there's some MX records that we have to add to our to the back end of our uh, D, uh, DNS provider and some CNAME records and some text records. So go ahead and add those records as uh, as some as the instructed here. And once you finish that, you come back here to this uh, panel. Once you finish setting up those DNS records, you've come to this the very last page. It says you've reached the end of the setup. So basically now we're done with the setup for Office 365 Business Premium. You can go ahead and go to the admin center and finish up the setup for your Office 365 and also download your Office applications to your desktop to give out to your users.